Hello everyone, this is Ginger Pana. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do some project shares. Um, I wanted to share with you what I've recent, well, some of these things I've made maybe over a month ago. Um, I'm just starting to finish it up. I do have a group swap that I am in and it's hosted by Amy, who is Amy L here on YouTube. Um, she's having a group swap with some of her Patreon um, members. And so um, I am paired up with two other crafters who are awesome crafters. Um, I will leave, let me see how, <laughs> I will leave there. Um, by the time you see this video, I would have mailed out um, my swap. So I will leave their YouTube, YouTube channels below. Can you tell I haven't done a video in a long time? Um, Nath um, Natalie and Shanita. Okay, so I will leave both of their YouTube channels below. They're awesome, magnificent crafters, lots of inspiration. Go and check them out. As you can see, I have a hodgepodge of um, things here on my desk. They are the discards or the rejects. <laughs> so what I'm trying to say with this is don't give up because just keep practicing at it and perfect what you want to do in your mind and what you want to um, your output to be and keep going don't give up so I'm not necessarily gonna throw these away I think I'm gonna save them for my bookshelf so we were supposed to make a set of three mini books for um, our bookshelf um, I did not make my bookshelf yet um, but we were all supposed to make our own bookshelf and we have two partners that will send us six books in total for us to put these books on our bookshelf and so these I will um, finish up later and I will put them on mine and I think for this one here I think I glued the box too far from the spine but if not I think it came out okay so it's kind of bummed that when I finished it um, I couldn't really use it and I think you know I'm trying to perfect how to make the box Christian um, from Christian Christian's crafty adventures she teaches you how to make box with lids when you cut both sides the same you know the top and the bottom so this one I think I made it too tight because you see the box the inside box or the bottom box is a little wonky so I didn't really care for that and then I made a um, a book cover these are all have chipboard in it but somehow I don't know why oh I think for this one I think I'm not sure why this is out like this but I think I made my inside box too big and it wouldn't um, close good okay and I still have to glue so when you glue your inside papers you really have to use your bone folder really adhere the glue well and hold it down squish it down so that everything adheres so you don't have nothing popping up like this okay this one I think I forgot to punch the tabs for the fingers um, so they all my books will have a window um, this one is an incomplete one oh, here this one is another one but I don't know maybe it just didn't fit good and so I started to practice on the plain white cardstock and I think I finally mastered it by the time I got to this one on how to make your bottom box first which is which is what Christian teaches us to do and then put your cover together on the top after you know while assemble your top while it's on your bottom which is what I did with these others but for some reason it didn't come out and I think your your cutting has to be really accurate because a slight um, off on your measurements can not really make your box come out you know perfect so for me I'm kind of you know about that so I keep trying until I get it correct and so I think at this one my window was too big I can't remember but anyways okay so let's put these on the side and my two partners so this um, mini book there's a tutorial that Christians at um, crafty adventure had um, put out so I will link that video below 
Okay, so then I ended up doing two Maggie, I mean, sorry, one Maggie Holmes set and one Obed Marshall, the Buenos Dias. Okay, so um, one, of the, one of the girls will get the Maggie Holmes. I think we agreed to do Garden Party. And so this one, yep, so these are my three books. Okay, so this one I did um, put the swan. There's a cabochon on here, flat back. There's love. I try not to embellish it too much onto the top of this these because you're going to have to put it on your bookshelf. So you don't want it really bulky where your books are not going to be fitting right. Okay, so and here's the um, spine. Here's the back. And so this is what I got stuck on. I really got stuck on the how to close the books. Um, I was going to make a belly band and I decided not to. And then I strung these seam bindings in. But in order to open it, you would have to take it out. So what I did was I cut the two pieces in half. I tied a knot on each end. Because by then I put brads in. Not brads, but these um, rings in. Eyelets in all the books. So I had to figure out something. So here is the book. So in this one, I have bows, and I might have made a lot of this so fitted. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so I made these bows with a die that I had. And these flares are from Bona. I ordered some flares from her. And so she did me some Maggie Holmes and some Obed Marshall flares. And I gifted each of them. I think I had five left over. Okay, so that is in the first book. You really have to be mindful when you use pattern paper that is one going one way, yeah? So when you adhere it to your cardboard and make your box and put your box in, you have to make sure that your design is not upside down. Okay, so that is my first book. This one is another one. It's using this paper. Um, this is one of my favorite papers with this pink and black. So I put a bloom sticker on it, a bow cabochon, a swan sticker, and I did some, these are diamond dots here. So I kind of put there, and here's a spine. And this one has, oh, I did a shaker mix in both, a sequin mix in both the Maggie Holmes Garden Party colors and the Obed Marshall Buenos Dias. Okay, so I have them wrapped in this um, bubble wrap, but here is the sequin mix I made. And these are just um, bead pearls that I had in my stash. So I just filled up these two glass containers. And I think these glass containers came from the Dollar Tree. Okay, so they go in like this. So this one's a little bit puffy because of the bubble wrap. I didn't want the glass files to break in shipping. Okay, and then here is the last book. So this is this one. It's kind of the green. Uh, brought in some of the leaf colors. And so I decorated the top of the book with this. I made these flowers. And then maybe in a separate video, I've been making a lot of flowers. In between, I am um, been really busy. I've been having a lot of family matters to tend to, which is taking up most of my time for those of you who are caregivers um, I commend you it it wipes you out so in the middle of my dad maybe eating his lunch or you know us taking a lunch break or right when he goes to get ready for bed I don't go to sleep right away because I got to make sure he falls asleep I kind of take out some little things like this and I make I was I was making flowers and little die cuts okay so I have a lot and I'll sh I'll Hopefully, I'll be able to come back and share some of the little um, embellishments that I have been making. Okay, and here is the side. And here's the back. Okay, now in this one, I put bows in it. So these bows are, I purchased um, bunches from Sparkling Ghoul. And so these are her bows. And in back here are some sequin bows. Okay, I don't think I gifted bows in the others. Oh, I did gift bows, but these bows are these with the flares on it. And these are some sequin and glitter bows. Okay, 
So that is in this one. Now, long story short, I had these two books made ahead of time, like maybe a month, month and a half ago. And um, I didn't finish embellishing it. So over time, I embellished it. So maybe about a week or two ago, I finally thought, okay, I finally finished embellishing it. I filled it up. I'm going to make some little other things and pack, start packing the boxes so I can mail it. And then I read the instructions again. And we were supposed to make a set of three. So I kind of like panicked a little. So I had to make a third box. For each of the girls and um, this one came a little bit more simpler because I had just finished embellishing these so this I was kind of in the mojo to do it and then um, I just filled it up with some of these things okay so then I did the other set of three which is the Obed Marshall um, paper line which is Buenos Dias and I got all my paper mostly from um, mostly from Frank Garcia store I did buy some when I was in California last month, but they didn't have very many um, things. Okay, so this is what the books look like, and they each hold the same thing, so I'm not going to open it. Okay. So this is using the camera paper. And then this one, this one's really pastel -y, so... Um, it's not really picking up really good on the on the um, camera but I just used the um, chipboards and this flower I made and I put this little puffy sticker in the middle this is another flower that I made and on this one I did make um, the mini rosette okay this one has this on the spine Okay, and this one is, I made this, oh, I think my little, I was supposed to put jimmies in here, so I have to go and add it. So I had a glasses here, and I put the puffy heart. This is a little puffy camera, and a suitcase from the chipboard collection. Okay, and what I did was I just used the reverse, because it's two-sided, I used the reverse as the inside, then I made the box again. In the same paper and here is the spine smiles for days okay so um here so this so see this paper this is the back side and so this is the back side of the box and this is the top okay so it just reverses and it matches very well now what i did to tie this in case you have a hard time tying and you need more time you know how it opens up a little when you tie it so what i did was i think this is called a i don't know what kind of knot this is i forgot but you tie you go around twice and see how it holds it and then you can tie your bow and lots of these um silk ribbon I purchased it from that um, seam binding that everyone is buying from and I can't remember the name now um, but everyone's hauling them and also my friend Jennifer Richards who is crafting sweetness she tie dyed a lot of bowls from um, satin of these crinkly satin ribbons for me as well okay so like this and then you go twice And then you close it and you see how it holds it and then you have enough time to tie your bow without your book opening okay that's how I did that okay so then I also made this frame I was watching Armin from ha who is happy Mail queen and she saw a tutorial from the pixie the pixie paper I believe I'll link those two channels below but Armin made these shaker frames and they're kind of easel and because I had so many uh, so um, much paper still left over that I decided to make a, an easel shaker frame okay so this is the sequin mix that I made for the Obed Marshall one so this is what's in that book um, all of these flowers I made these are die cut flowers and I think these I got from Aliexpress and I made, I just cut circles and I 
cut around and around I made a spiral and then I made a flower here and I used punches to make this flower this is a die this one um, this layer flower which I'll show in another video but uh, let's see Septera and she has some numbers after it she was the one who taught us how to make these type of flowers okay here you can see it more up here and I put a chipboard butterfly this is a cut apart from the collection I think <laughs> I might have mixed up some of them okay so this is the easel and here is the other one I'm sorry this is the Maggie Holmes paper so that's the Maggie Holmes cut apart and this one is the Obed Marshall Okay, so I use a chipboard banner. I use some cabochons here. Yay. Here are some shakers in this one. I put a little bit more in this one because um, it wouldn't cover up the seam. Where this one, I didn't really want to cover up the seam. Okay, and I made a cluster here. These flowers I made as well. And a um, cupcake from the chipboard. Okay. So those are my two easels that I'm going to send. And then I had some little um, trinkets that I wanted to also give them that I was making here and there. And so I wanted to make something to put them in. And so I made these boxes from the mini books and I just made just a box. Okay, so I made two Maggie Holmes. So these are my boxes and I could... Uh, embellish it a little bit more heavily because they weren't going in a book or anything so I guess they could always put it on their bookshelf but it's kind of bulky so this one has layers I made some rosettes using the Tim Holtz rosette die I stickled them these are chipboard pieces a puffy sticker um, this die set is from Aliexpress they came in maybe four or five words and so I die cut them out and I layered them these um, uh, what do you call these now dangles I made them a while ago so I have them all in a dish and so I think I have a tutorial on how to make this heart um, end of your dangle and I just pulled it from my stash and I attached it to the rosette because the rosette has these holes in them okay so they're just boxes and I did use a hundred and twenty pound cardstock which I purchased from Amazon and thank you to Mika who has scrapped the world she's the one who um, told us about the um, heavyweight cardstock that she purchases the 110 and the 120 and so they make really good bases when you make your 3d projects they're very sturdy okay so I didn't fill them yet um, but I will before I send it out And here is the other one. I guess some of the flowers, I didn't put a pearl or something in it, but maybe, I'm not sure if I'm going to add it in there. Sometimes it looks nice without it. So this one has another dangle that I did. I just put a larger jump ring in it. I think this is 10 millimeter. Okay. So I just used a white card base, and then I went and I cut all the pieces to layer it to do the panels so these are the two Maggie Holmes garden party boxes and then I did two of the Obed Marshall Buenos Dias paper okay so this one has the ice cream cone so I put a flat back cabochon there's another dangle it says happy day another flower that I made and then this one flat back Capuchon, some rhinestones. These are two that I had or had already made, and then some rosettes, and I stick with them. Okay. So by the time I made these boxes, um, I was becoming an expert at making these boxes. So I kind of got the hang of making boxes with their lids, when the top and the bottoms are the same dimension, the same cuts. Um, the trick is to cut it very precise as precise as you can and when you put the top on you really um, Form it to the bottom and then you glue the tabs on 
Okay, and Christian shows uh, uh, has a very good tutorial on how she makes these boxes. Okay, everyone, so that is my uh, share. Um, this is part of the um, swap that I'm sending out. All that was required was the three mini books um, filled up with things, but I just went out and I made a little bit more things because I had some. I had the paper out already. Okay, everyone, thank you for coming, and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.